Ladies and gentlemen, Rusty Nails Wait presents what? Keep talking. Presents oh, this day. Ahead. Not this day, but uh, history with Rusty. What do you history? Well, I'm doing my What do you got there? Uh, Alex, here we go. go. Today's mystery talks about uh, That's a nice looking mustache. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Talk about Texas. You know, when the Mexican War of Independence ended in 1821, Texas became part of a new country of Mexico. Do you believe that? Texas. Mexico's government. Yeah, and and actually they invited immigrants from the US. Listen to this. To come to Mexico at that time. Next thing you know, 30,000 gringos moved in with only 8,000 Mexicans. What's with the hat? Yeah, well, I'm just, Are you getting it? Mexican right. government uh, changed to a centralized government, and Texas gringos launched the Texas Revolution in October of 1835, Is and it a... ended in 1836 when the Mexican, you know, uh, the president, uh, Tony Santa Ana, we got him in a headlock, Tony gave him some noogies, we captured him, and, and then for nine years, listen to this, Texas governed itself as an independent country, my friends, the Republic of Texas. It wasn't until like 1845 Texas became the 28th state. I love Texas, and I'm hold, so hold happy on, on. to do a little mystery on. on the state what? of Texas. Wait, there's more. Well, hold on a second. Be yeah. Wait a second. Is it, okay. Um, the big, I say, it's the big, I think it's bigger than. We're not doing a show on tech, maybe a Texas. Seat. We're doing a show on Texas. On Texas. Texas. That's what I wondered when I got the Texas. email, because your email says Texas, and I thought, that's weird. But I you have know. it right here. I, I got it. I, hang on a second. I got it yeah. right here. It, um, yeah, Russ, like tomorrow. Yeah, Russ. Uh, tomorrow's show is supposed to do okay. your mystery on Texas. Read it. Yeah. Text. Sorry. I didn't have a spell check. It says, it says Texas. It does it's on Texas. Do you have any on Texas? It's not on Texas. It's not It's not on Texas. Well, Texas. <laughs> I guess. I mean, off the top of my head, Texas, you know, from oh, 17, music. Take it over. 1791 to 1802, the U.S. government was supported by taxes. Wow. But only on distilled spirits. And, and I think uh, carriages, refined sugar. This off the top of your head? Yeah. Uh, tobacco, snuff, property sold at auction, corporate bonds, and, of course, slaves back then. Now, cash for the War of 1812 brought in the first sales uh, with, uh, sales tax on gold and silver, uh -huh. jewelry, watches, stuff like that, because they didn't have watches before. All off like, the top of your head. Yeah, and then I think it was 1817 <laughs> was a Congress did away with the internal taxes and used tariffs on imported goods for the little cash fix. Uh -huh. And then was it, what, 1862? I think that's a Civil War. Oh, I nailed it. Yeah, because that brought in that. the first income tax law. See, during the Civil War, a person paid about 3% in taxes. That's wow. ridiculous. And 1862 was also the year we established the office of commissioner, I think it was the Internal Revenue Commissioner, something like that. Wow. Yeah, this SOB got the power to assess, <laughs> levy, collect taxes, and the right to enforce tax laws by seizing property and income through prosecution. This guy's got too much power. In fact, this guy's got the same power and authorities today. This has got to stop. Really? Oh, I yeah, absolutely. You know, I know. When I think it was, let me go, 68, 1868. Oh, nailed that's, it. Yeah, that's when Congress switched from income tax back to tobacco and booze and eliminated income tax. Uh, and then uh, that was in 1872. Huh. Now, income tax was really in favor again about 1894, 1895. Uh -huh. And in 95, the Supreme Court decided <laughs> internal the, that the income tax was unconstitutional. Ah, I wish All this off days. the top of your head. Yeah. Remember 1913? I, rem oh. I remember. Well, it. Hold the, on, let me bring you back to a gentler time. Oh, the 16th Amendment. To the Constitution made the income tax a permanent fixture. Here's a picture. Yeah. Uh, and in 1918, the annual internal revenue collections passed the billion dollar mark, rising to 5.4 billion by 1920, with withholding tax starting in about, I think it was 43, Nailed I gotta it say. Again. You are so good. Then, of now. course, I over the years, you. Sully. Man. There were some more cuts and hikes and all that. Then yeah. in 1986, Reagan signed the best thing, the Tax Reform Act, lowered tax levels to like 1916 levels, from 50% down to 28%. Wow. The government made a load of money. And then yeah. in 1930, no, 1993, was yeah, it, yeah. with the Clinton? Because well, he dropped more than his that, pants back then, I'll tell you what. He dropped pay. <laughs> he dropped taxes. He dropped taxes with the Revenue Recovery Act and the tax credit for kids. Have a baby, yeah. you know, here's 500 bucks. <laughs> hey, I mean, that ain't going to do it. I'm going to need a little more. So uh, and then we got, uh, I think, Bush signed some tax relief reconciliation about 01. And then, then I go a little blurry. I ran out of scotch and uh, passed out on the couch after reading that on the Internet. Nice so not really that. off the top of my head. Yeah. I kind of I read this a couple weeks ago. All but, that on taxes. Yeah, on taxes. And you thought it was Texas. I could have sworn you, because you're good. Oh, I hate And that anyway. was Rusty Nails. With mystery. Thank you. Good stuff. Now. I can't believe how good how you are, you know, right up the, you're learning stuff. Huh? I am learning stuff. First, uh, yeah, that's, that's. I'm learning stuff. that we, we really, we're getting screwed on our taxes right now is what's going on.